Hi again then guys and welcome to another unboxing style video. We actually haven't done one of these for quite some time on the channel. Usually we unbox stuff like model cars or Predator motorbike helmets, that kind of stuff. This time I wanted to do something a little bit different. It's still automotive in nature but on kind of a tangent as some of those products are and it is this in fact, a Maserati branded cologne. Now I'm not huge on colognes and when I do buy them I tend to buy very very specific scents. So, for instance, I have a pure blueberry one, I have a pure vanilla one. That's the kind of thing that I would go for. I don't tend to go for, you know, all these fancy branded ones like Boss and all these. I know plenty of people do, but that's never been my thing. So I wanted to try this one because I thought to myself, if I was going to have the scent of a car manufacturer as my scent, which manufacturer would I want to smell like? And I thought, well, you know what, if Maserati has a scent... I'd like to give it a try. So, as it says in the title and the thumb, this is both an unboxing and a review. I have not smelled this yet. It's still in the plastic packaging, as you can see. It's actually a decent size, also, as you can see. It's 100ml, this particular one. There are at least two different styles, I think three. This is pure code in white. There's also a blue and, I think, a black version as well. And I believe they are actually different, each of them. But I haven't bought all three. Now, usually, retail-wise... You can find these on eBay all over the place, so the shipping will vary wildly. But in terms of cost, this one was actually a lot cheaper than many because it was an unwanted gift. Unopened, as I said, just, I guess, a birthday present probably that somebody didn't want. Maybe they already had one. But I got it for a lot less than they usually go for. This was £25. So usually you're looking at at least 60 which for a cologne isn't crazy anyway, especially for a manufacturer branded one. It's actually made, I believe, by La Martina, as you can see at the bottom there. It's called Pure Code by Maserati. The, the uh, exposure's pretty high, but there you go. <laughs> now, hopefully this mic is still picking me up well enough to do this review without actually holding it, because one of the things that I want to stress as well is when you're doing an unboxing video, maybe you're getting started in that kind of thing on YouTube or you want to be, I cannot stress enough how important the tools that you use for that particular unboxing are. You've got to have the right tools uh, for the job, basically. So here we actually have the packaging open. The exposure is still pretty high on the video, but you can make it out anyway. It's not like there's a, a drawing on here that you're missing or anything anyway. <laughs> but uh, it's an eau de toilette, natural spray, as it says, 79% volume, 3.4 fluid ounces, which is 100 mil. Uh, plastic now removed. It's got like a matte finish. I know that the visual aspect doesn't matter too much, but you know, it's all about presentation. And if you can have a nice presentation, why not? Now, speaking of presentation, no odor as yet, which is good because that means it ain't leaking. <laughs> now, the actual bottle itself fits quite snugly inside the actual carrier. There's quite a lot of uh, filler there. It does not reflect the size of the actual bottle, <laughs> as you can see. Bottle itself is very nice. Again, presentation doesn't matter too much. And like I said, the exposure is very high on this video. Well, it's not. It's just standard. But uh, yeah, you can see that. It's got a nice weight to it. Of course, 100 mil is 100 mil anyway. So now for the actual test. Got a nice little... I'm not sure if that is actual leather, probably just simulated leather. Nice little lid. Even the lid actually has quite a quite a nice weight to it. And regular spray nozzle. So for the moment of testing and truth. Get away some of that uh, typical smell that all fragrances have initially that kind of alcoholic vinegar smell now as far as the fragrance of this actually goes i must admit it's not as strong as i was expecting it to be it's actually not as unique to be honest as i was expecting and hoping it would be either it certainly does have a distinct smell but after you get past that primary alcohol kind of odor that immediately hits you with pretty much any spray, cologne, perfume, whatever. I would say that the main smell, the main scent that comes through is kind of like a almost watermelon sort of smell, which I don't think is actually one of the notes. Now, you can look this up online and there are tons of different notes 
and scents that are involved in this, including, I believe, vanilla. I think uh, light wood might have been one. Some smokiness, some black pepper. Um, a number of others, too. There are a number of different notes and bass notes, etc. And you can get super technical and into that if you want to, but I'm far from being a connoisseur or even interested in being a connoisseur in that kind of thing. I just want to know if it smells good. <laughs> so I would say that I like the smell. I, I like the smell that it does have. The downside that I would say to this is it's not as unique as I was hoping. It actually smells, for want of a better word, maybe a little bit generic. <laughs> Which is kind of disappointing to say. Um, it certainly isn't the scent that I would have if I were developing a Maserati cologne or a, a scent. If I were going to develop one myself, uh, I think I would have three distinct scents in there together. I would have a, a light wood. I would have uh, perhaps some smokiness on the wood, but maybe just that pure wood smell with uh, an undertone of vanilla, because as far as I'm concerned, vanilla is kind of like the chicken of odors, wherein it goes with anything, because it has a sweet kind of higher smell, which is very pleasant, very recognizable, but at the same time, it doesn't overtake a lot of other smells that you put it with, just like chicken. So I would have it like a vanilla base, uh, and then I would have like maybe a middle tone of light wood, and then just to cap it off, I'd have some nice crisp blueberry. That to me would be like a Maserati cologne, and it also happens to have like the colours of Maserati as well, with the cream, blue, and wood. So as far as the smell goes, my overall thoughts on this are: the packaging is fantastic. It's elegant, classy. It's everything you would expect a Maserati cologne to look like. Smell-wise, a little under par. I'm going to be honest, because I don't mind saying that, because it's not even that I'm saying that about Maserati, because as I said, as far as I know, La Martina actually makes the fragrance. It's just got the Maserati branding on there, so it's not like I'm slagging off Maserati. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it, it's by no means a bad smell. I like it, but to me it smells... It smells, put simply, like I would never guess it was a Maserati cologne. I would think it was like... A, a citrusy, fruity, as I said, predominantly, actually, kind of watermelon tone. Which, as it happens, I love the smell of watermelon. It is one of my favourite scents as well. So I'll definitely be using this, and I like it. And I also like the fact that even though I gave it a pretty hearty spray on the arm, it's not overpowering. Because uh, when it comes to fragrances, I tend to get a sore throat with them fairly quickly. This one doesn't. Even, you know, getting right in there, it, it smells good. And there were a number of scents in there that I was uh, maybe a bit concerned about. Uh, I can't recall, as I said, all of the list, but a couple of scents to me seemed unnecessary or maybe clashing. But overall, I would say I have mixed thoughts on this. It's it's the kind of thing that would make an interesting, more so novelty gift rather than a pure gift. And what I mean by that is because of the fact that it's not completely unique, it doesn't really shout Maserati to me. The packaging does. The bottle does. You know, the price certainly does. But the, the smell itself is pleasant. It's soft and light. So if you're looking for a cologne that isn't too overpowering and it certainly isn't masculine or too masculine, it doesn't smell too masculine at all. It actually has a fairly neutral smell. It's like borderline. It could be unisex, actually. And I think some of these might be, if I recall correctly. So that would certainly make sense. If, if this were, and I just didn't read that in the fine print. But um, but yeah, I like it. I, I like the smell. I would just say that it doesn't need a Maserati logo on it <laughs> overall. So those are my thoughts for the Pure Code Maserati Cologne. This isn't necessarily the kind of product review that I plan on doing that often on the channel. Maybe once or twice again if I happen to pick up, you know, like a Ferrari cologne or the Hummer cologne or something like that. But uh, just something a bit different. And if you guys are looking for a cologne, if you want to be able to say, I wear Maserati, then that's a pretty nice novelty. And that's what I meant by it being a novelty gift. You can know that it's Maserati that you're wearing and feel proud of that. And it does smell nice with, as I said, the predominantly watermelon tone that it has. And I certainly have no complaints. As far as me, I'll definitely be wearing this. I like it. I will say, though, the reason why I find it a little bit under par, as I've been saying, is probably because being a Maserati-branded item, I was expecting even more. So come in with more measured expectations, and you won't be disappointed. It's the kind of thing where, if you're going to give it as a gift... It would make a nice gift, but maybe with a little bit of a caveat, 
on there. So don't expect it to smell like a brand new MC12. <laughs> uh, whatever that smells like. But um, yeah, that's my thoughts overall on the Maserati Pure Code. I might try the blue, perhaps the black, if there is one. I believe there is in the future. But for now, that's it for my thoughts. Of course, tell me down below if this was a product review that you found helpful. Maybe if you've used this before or like it. Tell me your thoughts. Do you agree with the watermelon tone that I believe it has? And overall, that's it for this unboxing. Of course, I'll see you guys next time. And for now, as always, thanks for watching.